Uh, hello again, I'm Stephen Cook with Cook's All Manufacturing. Uh, we're here on a beautiful November 18th, 2016. Uh, 79 degree uh, fall, late fall day. Beautiful day and uh, it's just been a good day. But I want to show you and follow up on the videos that we've been doing. Uh, we've been talking about the five things that we like to teach everybody and tell everybody about uh, running sawmills or what makes your blade run correctly, those type things. And, and those five things are um, sharp, set, flat, roller guides, and then blade alignment. In our last video, we, uh, the fourth video there uh, that we did out of those five things, we, we talked about the roller guides. And here we are, and I mentioned we'd probably be at the mill on the next one, and, and we're at an MP32 mill. And this has got the roller guides on for an inch and a quarter blade. Uh, and you can see how uh, this whole setup has a, has a um, shaft that goes back in uh, to this holder and they're all adjustable. Having adjustable roller guides are, are very important. Uh, but the focus uh, today is going to be on vertical alignment of the wheels. And so what we do and what we have found over the years is that we want to have our band wheels uh, certainly either parallel, we talk about vertical alignment, but parallel uh, with the uh, the frame that it's built off of, and uh, but but we actually like uh, these are 19 inch band wheels. We actually like the top to be tilted about a sixteenth more. Again, we definitely don't want them tilted back. Uh, and where we where we've just learned this over time, we've learned that by adjusting them the way that we talk about here, uh, just makes the blade learn, run better. It, it makes it uh, uh, everything work out with the roller guys that we'll talk about in, in a later video having this uh, tilted just a sixteenth on a on a 19 or 20 inch wheel on our 25 inch wheels uh, 26 inch wheels we come out maybe an eighth of an inch higher at the top now to do that perfectly you know to be right dead in the center I'd be over here I have to be aware and as you as you uh, measure on your sawmill. Be aware of your guards. These are made out of a, uh, a thinner material and, and it could be off a little this way or that way. So I like to get off of this three by six tubing where we're bolted. You see the bolts here where we're bolted in and I know that that's good and good and flush. So I, uh, in, in our case, this good thing could be tilted back a little bit, bolted off of that. I, I don't go dead right here to the middle. I get as close as I can to this frame and as close to the center. Uh, of the wheel, but but knowing that I'm on this three by six tubing, so I get a good uh, foundation, so to speak, a good place to measure from, and know that it's consistent up up and down this tubing. So I'll measure at the bottom, and then I will measure at the top again in, in about the same place. And I'm pretty near the top. I'm not fully at the at the pinnacle here, or the peak of that wheel, but I'm pretty close. And so I I will adjust that wheel, and we just have. Uh, holes that are that are large enough that we can tilt. Uh, this is our drive bearing assembly. We can tilt that just a little bit. We'll snug them up and we may bump that with a rubber hammer and uh, we'll make that uh, wheel be just a little further forward, like I said a sixteenth on, uh, on uh, the drive side. Uh, the idle side, a little bit different. We have a um, a uh, bearing inside the wheel uh, right here uh, as far as it's a little different as far as the wheel uh, we still can tilt it same type thing and I still will will measure off of this three by six tubing that runs right down through here that we're bolting to through so I'll, I'll measure right in here and and right in this area so that I'm getting a consistent reading there if you have something that's further out and that's heavy duty out in here well that's fine to measure from there uh, also, we kind of like to, uh, once we have that set, tension it up and see if, see if everything stays consistent. Uh, sometimes these hinges on different people's mills can have slack or different things and, and it might read a little bit different. And uh, that may be why we, we find wheels on, on machines done all kinds of ways. Uh, sometimes they're actually tilted back from the factory and, uh, and, and that's just not good at all. 
So that, that's what we're after. And uh, it's just something that we've found <laughs> over time and, and through experimentation that uh, something about that, I could try to explain it with my theory, but ultimately we've just found it works better that way. And so that's what we consistently do. And uh, we found that we can control that blade then with our, with our roller guides and make it saw uh, forward straight in the cut. Uh, and it, it takes out some of that uh, diving or dipping uh, if you don't have it adjusted that way. So another little tip of the fifth and the five things that we've talked about. And uh, hope you're enjoying the videos and we'll be, we're, we're looking forward to bringing some more to you.